What's up guys, Miss Pass here back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes commentary video and today we are talking about how to get your 7 star Thrawn. Now a lot of people will say you need this, you need that, you need one thing or the other and I can tell you right now that there are two main things that you are going to need in order to get Thrawn to 7 stars. One of those is 7 star Hera. You gotta have Hera as part of your squad. Without Hera, you're going to need some obscene mods and gear on the rest of your Phoenix because you're not going to get the main synergy that you get from having Hera as the leader. Basically, none of their uniques are going to be shared, and you're basically going to be operating on very, very, very thin ice. I, I don't know if there's really any way to get 7-star Thrawn without Hera. That said... The other thing you need is potency and speed on Zeb. That's it, really. Aside from decent mods that will get you decent speed, now obviously uh, you're going to see here that I moved most of my arena mods over to my uh, Phoenix squad so that I could really beat it the second time I tried. <laughs> but there are two two characters really that need speed, and that is Hera and Ezra, uh, sorry, not Ezra, but Zeb. Zeb needs speed because his basic attack is money. The reason is because anytime he uses his basic attack against an enemy that already has Daze, Expose, or Stagger, they are afflicted with Stun instead, which I'm just going to tell you right now, Stun Locking Thrawn is the key to a guaranteed victory. The best way to ensure that is having a fast Hera and a fast Zeb. You want to have Zeb fast so that he's getting that basic attack off as fast as often as possible. And then you want Hera fast so that she can call him in on assist. If you have a fast Ezra as well, that's even better because you want to use Ezra's assist as often as you can as well. Basically, any extra chances that Zeb gets to attack an enemy that already has Daze, Stagger, or Expose is going to be helping you out immensely, like right there. Other thing you want to do is make sure that you at least have everybody's unique abilities zated. You don't have to have every single one of their abilities maxed out. Obviously, I doubt you're going to have a hundred Zetas laying around. If you do, call me. I'll take some off your hands. Um, but you do want to make sure that at least their unique abilities are zated. Sorry. Omega, not Zeta. <laughs> None of them have a Zeta unique. You want to make sure their uniques are Omega because that gives them the best benefit, the best bang for their buck out of Hera's leader ability, especially Chopper's unique. Chopper's new unique that allows him to come in 30% of the time whenever an ally uses an ability is awesome. You don't realize how often it actually happens, especially if you've got really good luck. The other reason you want to have Chopper's unique uh, Omega is because his basic does have a chance to grant random buffs and reduce cooldowns, which is extremely helpful, especially when you get Hera or Ezra on that basic attack and you reduce their cooldowns, which means you're going to be able to call in Zeb that much faster with the assist. It's extremely helpful. Now the gameplay that you're watching right now, the gameplay that you've been watching, is my first attempt at Admiral Thrawn's 7 star event without making any changes to my Phoenix squad. I basically had just garbage mods for all intents and purposes, not very good mods on my Phoenix. And obviously I barely even killed one death trooper before absolutely getting destroyed. So it's a good idea to at least put good mods on your squad if you want to beat this challenge. Well, you might be asking me, Mist, what constitutes a good mod set? Well, any mod that has speed secondary is a good mod. Even if it's just 3, 4, 5 speed on it, it's a good mod for a newer player. For veteran players, players that have been playing a long time, you're probably going to want mods that have closer to 10 or 15 speed on them. Now, this is where I started taking my mods off of my arena squad. Uh, you can see that I had fairly decent mods, and I like to lock my mods that have speed secondary on them because it, it helps. So, Zeb, I took him from 137 speed with 43% potency, 44% potency, and I uh, put new mods on him and bumped him up to 193 speed 
and 50% potency. That made a huge difference. Now, I didn't have Zeb at like 220 speed or anything obnoxious or crazy or obscene. I only bumped him up to 193 speed, which was a substantial boost, but it wasn't like I added 115 speed to him. Ezra, I took from 156 speed, swapped out him, his mods with one of my other arena characters, and I bumped him up to 236 speed and 38% potency. Now, that was a substantial boost, but then again, he has good base speed, and I put a, a speed set on him, which really helped out quite a bit. Now, with Chopper, I didn't really try to boost his health and protection much. I focused mostly on making him faster. Um, I took him from 152 speed to 234 speed. I basically took R2-D2's mods off and put them on my chopper to make him as fast as I could because his basic attack reduces cooldowns, you know, potentially. Uh, Hera, I boosted her from 150, and this was with a 30 speed mod. I boosted her from 50% uh, or 150 speed with 36% potency to 210 speed, and unfortunately he did, she did lose a little bit of potency, but um, that was really all in the name of boosting her speed. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to get her as fast as possible. Now, Kanan, I didn't really touch his mods at all, because Kanan doesn't need to be fast, he needs to be survivable. I got him, I took him to gear 9 because that helps with his survivability, and I gave him a almost 29, almost 30,000 protection, which helped out quite a bit. That really didn't, I didn't, like I said, I didn't change his mods around at all, so um, Kanan is just, he just needs to be survivable. That's the main thing you need. Now, Zeb, being faster, you'll see how often Zeb gets called in here. It just, it, it's, it's amazing. Being able to call Zeb in is going to save your bacon, and I'll show you when we get to Thrawn. Now, you're probably sitting there right now going, uh, Mist, I can't add that much speed to all of my characters. I mean, I can't take everybody up over 200 speed. Are you kidding me? Don't worry about it. If you can't get everybody up over 200 speed, don't focus on it. Chopper being that fast was really just a perk for me. I could have done it with a slower chopper. It wasn't a game changer. The two characters, like I said earlier, that need to be fast are Hera and Zeb. Don't worry about getting everybody up over 200 speed. As you saw, Kanan was still sitting at 95 speed. His speed doesn't matter. Ezra, he can manipulate his speed by using his flourish on targets that don't have buffs. He'll, he'll feed himself turn meter. That's not something you need to super, you need to worry your pretty little face about. It, it, you just don't, okay? <laughs> Ezra being fast is just a perk, just like Ch Ch uh, Chopper. God, I can't talk. If you have a problem with getting everybody up high, super high speed, just focus on Zeb and Hera. Like I said, if you can get Zeb and Hera up around 180 speed, you should be fine. Note. I also didn't have these characters super mega geared. I had Ezra at gear 10, just because Ezra's great literally everywhere else in the game. Kanan, I took him to gear 9 because, well, he's a tank and more gear equals more protection. It just makes sense. Chopper, I took to gear 9 because, eh, well, Chopper is pretty decent in territory battles, especially with that stun on droids. I really, really hate those probe droids, but that's beside the point. Chopper at gear 9 wasn't really necessary. As you saw, I even reduced his protection when I increased his speed, and it played no real significant factor in beating Thrawn. So, having less gear on Chopper only equals less protection. So... Having less protection, like you just saw, I, I mean, you can easily get his protection to where it's at in this gameplay with gear 8. Hera is only gear 8. Zeb, only gear 8. So you really only need um, Ezra and Kanan. Ezra for DPS, Kanan because he needs more protection. If you gear up Zeb instead of Kanan, you're only going to help yourself out because Zeb is going to increase his damage with higher gear levels. If you were paying attention, Zeb also doesn't have his basic Omega, which means he's not doing 30% additional damage against targets that are already debuffed with Daze, Stagger, uh, Expose, or Stun. So 
If you Omega Zeb's basic, you're just going to do even more damage. So you can make up for less gear on some of your other characters with better gear on Zeb. So if I were to only gear up two characters beyond gear 8 from Phoenix in order to ensure victory on the Thrawn event, I would gear up Zeb and Ezra. The two main characters that are going to be doing damage for you. Zeb is also going to get more potency with better gear, so that's only going to help you as well. I did it with a gear 8 Zeb with mods that gave him about 50% potency. That's going to be pretty much the magic number. As for kill order, when you get to Thrawn, just kill the Stormtrooper. Don't focus on trying to remove his taunt all the time because he's just going to keep taunting. He's just going to keep... It's you just, just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. Then kill the Death Troopers. After you kill the Death Troopers, kill the other troopers and then focus on Thrawn. If you can, while you're killing the other troopers, try and stun lock Thrawn. I didn't try and stun lock Thrawn while I was killing the other troopers, but if you are having trouble, you can always try to stun lock Thrawn. The way to do that is hit him once with Zeb, using his basic, and then call him in on assists on Thrawn to try and get the stun, like that. If you can, cool. If you can't, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. You can also hit him once with Hera's basic and then hit him again, hit him the next time with Zeb, but that's taking two characters out of the fight um, when you're trying to focus on other characters. In my opinion, only try and stunlock Thrawn as like a last resort if nothing else is working. Otherwise, just kill everything else don't worry if you lose one or two other characters. Now, if you lose Chopper, not that big a deal. If you lose Kanan, not that big a deal. But if you lose Hera, Ezra, and Zeb, or one of those three, I would probably stop, restart, and maybe try again. Because you got to have Hera there to call Zeb in on the assists so that you can get the stagger, or sorry, the daze, and the stun off on Thrawn. That's going to be what really helps you out. Otherwise, Thrawn is constantly going to be replenishing his uh, protection, and then he's going to be fracturing one of your mem one of your uh, Phoenix characters and just causing general headache and making your life a living hell. You want to have Hera and Zeb at the minimum at the end so that you can stunlock Thrawn. That will guarantee victory. If you Omega uh, Zeb's basic. Added bonus because we'll be doing more damage. That about does it for my strategy for getting your Thrawn to 7 stars. I didn't put Sabine in my uh, guide at all because Sabine is the hardest to farm, and I tried to make this as free-to-play friendly as possible. That said, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out, guys. And share this video with any of your friends who are still trying to get their 7-star Thrawn. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. I'm a heck of a lot more active there than t Facebook. Join my Discord server to continue the conversation, and I'll catch you guys later.